Hey, this is Jeff Hampton. Welcome to this 40 Days and 40 Nights Challenge video. This is the second video uh, about choosing your niche. And so we're going to start off by just reviewing a few things really quick because these are incredibly important things. Rule number one, the only real rule we're going to talk about here, everything else is open, but this is something that for this method that I'm talking about to work, this is something you have to do, and that is that you have to be creating a site about something that you're actually interested in. Now, I can't say that that's the way to make the most money. I can't say that that's going to be their most highest return on investment, but this is something that you'll do. This is something you can get done. It makes a huge difference in whether people actually implement. The problem, the reason that most people don't make money online isn't because they didn't find a perfect niche. It's because they didn't keep working on it. They didn't keep going and going and producing content and producing really good, interesting content, particularly because they weren't interested in it. So this is absolutely crucial. All right, I think you got the point. Let's move on. Types of niches that we already talked about. The first we talked about was type X. This is centered around a home-based business. Obviously, this requires a pretty big commitment, something you have to be really into. Huge, huge, huge potential. Type Y, something centered around a hobby, a passion, and interest. This is what the vast majority of people are in this program are going to be doing. All kinds of options here. This is a very broad category. And the one that you've uh, been waiting for from the last video is type Z niches. Type Z niches are centered around outrageous SEO opportunities. Um, this is not just good SEO. This is not just a, a, a good opportunity, an easy keyword. This is where it is something that is just out of the ballpark easy in terms of SEO. This usually happens when there's a brand new product or much better, a brand new category of products. Now that might sound a little crazy, a little hard to imagine what I'm talking about, but I'm going to show you in just a moment. I'm going to give you an awesome example of this. But first I want to say, I recommend only taking on this type of niche if you're also interested in going into the internet marketing niche. That means selling WSOs and stuff like that. The reason why is because for this, instead of for the other niches, you're going to be spending your time learning about your niche. You're going to be spending your time reading about your niche. If you were to do, um, you know, like I showed you my example of SodaStream. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to check out all the SodaStreams. I'm going to put together recipes. Like I, uh, I'll show you more about that, but that's going to be some of my content. Um, in these type Z niches, you're going to be doing that, but your main focus is going to be on SEO and taking advantage of this huge SEO opportunity that these niches have. Most of these niches like this, you're only going to be selling affiliate products. You may or may not develop your own product. That's really secondary to doing the, uh, the SEO. But if you're going to spend all that time learning the intricacies of SEO. And let me tell you, with the other types of niches, you're not going to have to worry about that nearly as much. You're not going to have to worry about the um, about getting backlinks as much and things like that because you're going to be writing awesome content. And I'm going to give you tips to make it super easy to do. But you're going to be writing awesome content that you're actually interested in and you're going to get backlinks and shares naturally. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But for these type Z niches, you may or may not be getting this kind of uh, viral sharing and you're going to have to learn a lot more about SEO. You're going to have to be an expert in SEO. And so if you're going to spend the time doing that, I'm all about leveraging here, leveraging your activities. Don't just do one thing and make money off of it one way. Look at when you're doing something, look at every single way you can make money off of it. So if you're going to go into a type Z niche, if you're going to go into exploiting these huge SEO opportunities, then also think about creating products, teaching other people how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and look at an example of one of these type Z niches. In the previous video, I showed you Amazon Product Inspector, which is part of Amisuite. 
This is an amazing tool and uh, as you saw I was able to type in my keywords and it will show you, you know, everything on Amazon related to that. It gives you all this data about, um, about those products and so you can filter it. You might have heard of uh, criteria for Amazon that people refer to as the golden rule and this is that you want to have a price above $100 you want to have um, reviews, let's say more than 100 reviews, and you want those reviews to be good. And so we want the rating to be greater than four, that's four out of five stars. You filter and it shows you, okay, out of this soda stream, this is the only one that fit those criteria. Uh, the other ones were also quite good, but if you're looking for the absolute cream of the crop, uh, use these golden rules and this product as you can see makes it ridiculously easy to find them but I'm gonna actually show you a different tool from Amasuite. Amasuite has several of these tools built in this one's different in that this is what you use if you don't know what you're looking for this one is helpful in selecting niches particularly for these SEO opportunities now there's a whole lot more to it um, which I'm going to show you how to do all that but what we're going to look at first is we're going to look at okay first we have to select our site this software works for amazon.com and amazon.co.uk and we're going to select amazon.com and we're going to look at the best sellers and so this is just going to pull up all the best sellers on Amazon. I'm going to, you can select by category and subcategory, any of the Amazon categories. I'm going to search all the categories. Okay. And you can see this, the software is extremely fast. Um, it's already processed. You know, already have up to a hundred items here. And you can see they're just pouring in, but this is all of the top products on Amazon. It's 165 pages of products, each with 100 products on the page. So this is, and you can see I already got about 10% of it done. But I'm going to pause the video for a second so you don't have to sit here and watch all of that rolling up. Okay, so we have all these top selling items, the best sellers in all of Amazon pulled up. And so I'm going to apply a filter here. I'm going to find the most awesome products. And I'm going to say... I want to look for now normally I said with golden rule we're gonna look for greater than a hundred dollars I'm gonna go ahead and go for greater than two hundred dollars might as well and I still want a rating of above four and I want the number of reviews greater than a hundred so again this is looking through all of the best sellers on Amazon And here's what it's come down to. It has 65 items that fit those criteria. And this number one listed here is the one I'm going to look at, the Nest Learning Thermostat. Let me pull this up over here on Amazon and I'll show you what this is. So this is a thermostat for your home and it's Wi-Fi enabled. So you can actually have it. You can have an app on your Android or iPhone where you can monitor and adjust your home thermostat from anywhere. It does all kinds of programming. Very cool. Saves money on your electricity bill. And this is a brand new category of products. These things have not been out very long. So when I looked at this and I saw that Nest Learning thermostat there, I knew that this is a real potentially good opportunity. So, after seeing that, I want to go to Google Trends. We want to see what the trends are for the search volume on this keyword. We want to see a big line going almost straight up. All right, so, and what we're going to search for here is Wi Fi thermostat. I'll show you here. Oh, let me show you the keyword analysis first, actually. So I've pulled this up with SE Cockpit and I've pulled up Nest Thermostat 
and we're going to look at the keywords that they suggest but what we're going to do is we're going to sort them by the niche score which is the return on investment basically it's how many searches versus how hard it is to rank for that term and as you can see se cockpit these bars here tell me the difficulty for each particular keyword this is nest thermostat energy savings so we're going to sort by niche score so we're going to give us the very best ones at the top and you can see thermostat i'm not sure what's up with that but that's has our best net niche score uh, nest thermostat very very good um, nest thermostat review wi-fi thermostat so these are all uh, potential keywords that we want to look at so let's go back over to Google Trends we'll do Wi-Fi thermostat nest thermostat Now you can see both of these have big arrows going up. We knew that Nest was a lot higher. It's the newer model. Let's go back and just search for Wi-Fi thermostat so you can see that line a little bit better. All right, this is the kind of line we want to see. As you can see, this started in 2008. There was very little interest in it until about 2011. And then this peak right here was for you know, the winter in the United States when this new Nest thermostat was out. So this is going to be a huge opportunity. These kind of scores, uh, this kind of niche score in SE Cockpit is definitely something that's just a golden keyword. Nest thermostat has 74,000 searches per month. Now, SE Cockpit also shows you the available domain names. And you can see nest-thermostat.com is available nest-thermostat.net is available this is a 74,000 exact match search term this is a product that sells for $250 on Amazon this is huge now again I don't recommend using trademark names as your domain uh, you can see Nest Learning Thermostat is available, so we would have to look at what kind of domain names are available because you're really taking a chance if if you use one of these, if you use the trademark in your domain. It's potential. There's a potential that you could get uh, in legal trouble, that you could get sued. I've never really heard anybody that happening to anybody for a domain name unless they were trying to misrepresent what was there. If you're just using it to sell Nest thermostats, then eh, I don't I don't know of any cases of anybody being sued for that. However, there are cases when the company will say we don't want you using that domain name. You need to give that domain name to us. And if you have lots of lawyers on your staff, you can fight them. You probably don't have lots of lawyers on your staff. And so it would be very, very, very expensive for you to fight them. Um, so just, I would skip that on domain names. We'll talk about domain names in the next video and what I do recommend doing for your domain names and how you can capture a lot of this search traffic. All right, and so uh, one last thing is if you are going to go into one of these Type-Z niches, this is something where I definitely do recommend picking up SE Cockpit because this is going to be the key is this analysis here. Which are, the, which are you going to get the most uh, return on your investment for? So if you're gonna do a niche like this, either pick up SE Cockpit or go ahead and take advantage of one of the niche consultations that I'm offering and you'll get this uh, all in a spreadsheet format. But for these uh, type Z niches, since we're looking at emerging products and emerging, emerging uh, keywords, things that weren't, that did not have very many searches very recently, this stuff's gonna change quickly. So if you're going into a type Z niche where you're gonna be focusing on SEO, then you probably ought to go ahead and get a subscription to SE Cockpit. Otherwise, if you're in a type X niche, type type Y niche, check it out and it's just going to depend on how you want to approach your niche. If you have another keyword tool that you like, that's probably going to be fine. You're not going to be able to do this awesome sorting by niche scores and figuring out where your best return is going to be, but that's okay because 
We're not going to be obsessing about keywords at all for uh, type X and type Y niches. It's going to be much more organically developed. Alrighty. So that's uh, Amosuite there, very handy tool. And um, type Z niches, we're looking for outrageous SEO opportunity. You want to see those trends going straight up. You want very, very low competition. Really about the only place you're going to find that is a new product or a new product category. All right, so coming up next, a secret ninja trick for those going into type Z niches. This is very cool, you're gonna, gonna love this. And the surprising truth about domain names. This is very bizarre. There's a particular aspect of domain names where Google is, I believe, telling you the truth in what they say, yet what they say is also misleading. I'll tell you how that can be in the next video. Take care. Oh, and if you haven't joined the Facebook group, please come join us. It's a lot of fun. All right. Take care.